Hi folks, it's Jody with Strength and Wisdom Tarot. Here to do mid-August readings for all the zodiac signs. As always, they are general readings. If they resonate with you, that's great. If they don't, maybe next time. And a big thank you for everyone who has liked, subscribed, shared to my channel. You guys rock! And if you would like to do a private reading with me, all the info is in the box below. You can also go to my website at number one at webs.com and check out my merchandise, pricing, services, all the good stuff. And also, every Wednesday, I go live. Come join me and my great crew to do the random re reading live as well as a look-in at all the Zodiac signs. 7 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. And I started doing something a little bit new. It's the Strength and Wisdom um, Tower Adventures. And I go to uh, certain places, place, place that might seem spooky or creepy or have a weird vibe to it. Make a short video and then I draw cards on it to see what kind of energy is lingering around there. Anyone can do this if you're interested in sending me a short clip on some place that just has a weird feeling to it. Uh, send it to strengthandwisdom1 at gmail.com. I will show everybody that and I'll draw cards on it. So it's fun. Anyone and everyone can do it and it's a good way for all of us to stay connected. So let me know. Send it to me. Okay. Scorpio. So, let's see what's popping with you mid-August 2020. Ooh. Oh. 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 Scorpio, not gonna lie, it's heavy, but you're gonna make it through. There is a silver lining behind or around your cloud here, so let's get into it. Bottom of the deck, Scorpio, you get the page cups. Now this can come from your court as well as Cancer or Pisces, but more so it's just a messenger. It's a messenger of something heartfelt, sentimental, you know, you could be... Or somebody could be offering their condolences, you know, a compliment, an apology. But it's very sincere. It comes from the heart. And I think this is how it all begins, is someone comes a-knocking. <laughs> so, Scorps, let's get it. We're going to start off with the Five of Wands. Now, here's petty arguments, gossip, secrets, lies. Nobody's on the same page here. Nobody sees eye to eye. And what's crossing to help or hinder, someone's doing some thinking. You get the Four of Cups here. And that's a daydreaming, fantasizing card. But I'm using the Steampunk Tarot if uh, anyone's interested. And he's actually in deep thought. Maybe contemplation. Now, Scorpio, if there's been a falling out or a disagreement or something, or just, you know, just petty backbiting, it might put you in your head. Now remember, this could be the energy you're putting out there, the energy coming towards you, friendship, partnership, love, ship, family, friends, career, wherever it applies. And in your foundation here, you get the three of wands. What a fire here. You know, and normally this would be a card of success. Hey, your ships come in. You take that one course of action. One. And it brings in success for you, no matter what that cargo is. Now, I almost wanted to say, but then I'm going to retract it in my head, that maybe you have an idea, or someone has an idea, maybe starting a business, or whatever the idea is, whatever subject is. And somebody has a different idea about it. There's some turbulence. I kind of feel that maybe somebody has to convince somebody or somebody is very convincing here. Because what's crowning you Scopes, is the sun. And here's the most positive card out of the whole deck. Your happy, happy card. Everything's coming up roses. You know, it's feeling like you're part of life again. Life's great. Life's good. Everything's, you know, 
just fantastic. And in your recent past, scoops, you get the Ten of Cups. Now here's the emotional fulfillment at its finest. Happy house, happy spouse, happy life. Rainbows, lucky charms, and unicorns. Doesn't get any better, right? So scoops, you know, you got this great thing, right? Could be a connection. Give it the right direction. But what holds somebody here is, you know, this little petty argument. Maybe it's somebody's first fight in a relationship. I'll use that as an example. Or it's something small. But it could be a red flag. Scoops. You know, I don't want to be the Debbie Downer or anything, but, you know, everything's great. Everything's positive. You know, fantastic. We're writing unicorns every day. I hope it is like that for you. Going into your future, you get the two of cups. There's chemistry. The I get you. Finish each other's sentence. That deep bond with someone. They just mesh well together. Almost like you won. This could be a whirlwind. You know, a whirlwind, friendship, partnership, however. It just sweeps you off your feet and it comes in unexpected, but it feels so right, so great. And then you have this little argument going on. And all of a sudden, it's a game changer. Now, how this situation is seeing you, Scorpio. Situation seeing you as what is, could have, should have, remorse, regret, sorrow. Pulling back. Hmm. It's almost like Scorpio, you, know, you regret starting this ship or being in this ship. And it starts off so positive, so great. You know, really click. But something about that not seeing eye to eye, I think you see more than just a petty argument or, you know, just a small quarrel. There was something there. Or will be something there, Scorpio. It's like you see right past the mirage. Because in your environment, yeah, you get the thief. Now the thief could steal your material things. The thief could steal your work and put the name on it. The thief could be the front of me. All smiles to your face, throws seven swords in your back. If not more. They ghost you. You know, for no rhyme or reason... They don't return a text, a phone call. And then they make you feel like it's your fault. Because they're silent. This is somebody who does something shady, does something on the DL. And I think maybe this is what you see, Scorpio. You get this great connect with someone. And this one five of wands, this one argument, petty or not, this one indifference makes you see something, and then all of a sudden, eyes wide open. And in your hopes and in your fears, you get the seven of pentacles here, and here's the investment card. The taking the get that out. Taking stock card. Do you invest in this? We, excuse me. When you put your time, your energy, your love into something, or someone. You take a step back from it, Scorpio, and you think, is this worth investing in? Am I getting out of it what I put into it? Do I want to do this again? Because something starts making you think that maybe somebody's not as great as you once saw them. Rose-colored glasses off, some people might say. But Scorpio, I'm thinking that this pettiness argument was meant to happen to make you see something. When everything's great and everything's going wonderful and you couldn't ask for something to be more perfect. I don't want to say in denial, you, them, them, you. This is like bringing you back to reality. Because, Scopes, I don't want you to be led on. I don't want you to be blinded. And I certainly don't want 
You'd be blindsided. Take a moment to step back. See if this is worth investing. If it does, I mean, you're very intuitive. Scopes, run with it. Use it. If something's telling you something's not right, and you see something from some sort of petty, you know, little argument, take heed to it. Because your outcome card is the Three of Pentacles. Now, here's being recognized for your fine skills, qualities, and crafts. Being recognized for that great person, Scope, you'll let you are. But the feeling I get off this card is like putting a spotlight on someone. And if somebody's shady, call them out. Put the spotlight on them. Maybe they're putting a the shine on you. You know, making you feel, you know, like you get this fantastic thing. It's like the setup. Before the fall. So, Scopes, whatever you're dealing with, you know, you gotta look at it from a realistic, grounded energy. You might have something great, and this person might think that you're the best thing since white bread. And that's awesome. It also could be because maybe that you're, you know, you're in a good position and they're not. And then look at the ride coattails. Make sure they're genuine, Scorps. Make sure they're genuine. So that is what I have for you. Please keep on liking, subscribing, sharing to my channel. Don't forget about Wednesdays to come join me and those great peeps of mine at 7 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. So till then, take care.